Hey coin collectors, it's DC on the Big D and we got the 1994 Washington Quarters of the United States of America. We actually have two of the uncirculated uh, mint sets up here and then down here we have two regularly circulated coins and then down here we have one from the United States Mint Proof Set. And you can tell, obviously you can always tell that one because it's an S and you can almost always tell it because it'll still be in the plastic once in a while. They'll take it out of the plastic, but and once in a while we do. But this is the only one we have right now, so we're not going to break it out. But we will take a look at it with you as we kind of go through. So in 1994, of course, they were still making the uh, regular Washington Quarters. It wasn't until 1999 that they changed over to the United States State Quarter Series. So... These ones are still the old style. You can see, well, let's just take a look at this one right down here. This has a D on it. That's for the Denver Mint. It says Liberty to Top and God We Trust under Washington's Chin, 1994, right down here. We tip it up and we may be able to see the J up there. We can see it. We can magnify it a little bit if we want. There's a JF right down there for John Flanagan. Pretty good D on here in 1994. We tip it up and we see it's a copper nickel clad copper. So the inside is all copper, pure copper on the inside. The outside is a copper nickel blend, which is 75% copper, 25% nickel. And if we flip it over, we see, of course, it is the eagle, the old eagle on the back quarters. And they're, they're not that old. I mean, you can still get them in your change every day. It says the United States of America at the top, E pluribus unum above the eagle's head. And when we look at the eagle's head, let's let's take a look here and to kind of see how this looks. And when we look at the eagle's body, let's look for body feathers down here. Let's look for the ribbon. We, we can kind of see the ribbon there. And then look down here, it says quarter dollar. So we just look for all the characteristics of these. Now we know this isn't going to be a very valuable coin. In Philadelphia, right here with our P, they made 825.6 million. In Denver, they made 880 million. So 1.7 billion altogether. If you can get this in MS65, uh, it's going to be worth about $8. So does that mean that these up here are going to be worth about $8? Yeah, kind of. Um, so if you get a coin out of a uncirculated set, these are coins that actually just came right off the line from the mints and they were put into these uncirculated sets. And when you look at this one, you see that it is in very, very, very good condition, but you see that there's a little bit of scratches on there. And sometimes in the mint, a coin will hit another coin just like that with a lot of force, maybe some other coins on top, and it'll make those marks. So while that does look a little funny, having no scratches on there, that's directly from the mint. In this kind of coloring here, that's from being in some plastic that got ruined. So that's why we have it out, because uh, it got uh, film all over it, like film, like some kind of messy stuff all over it. We see there's a Denver, there's a Philadelphia. That is one of the best peas uh, you are ever going to see. A little bit of a tail coming out the back there, but it just came good. In fact, when we blow this up a little bit, we see, we can really see the actually ribbon attaching um, Washington's, uh, the ponytail on Washington. If we tip it up on its side, we can really see the copper in there. We know that's a copper sandwich. Look at all the, just a nice color that flows off there. And then when we tip it over, we see what I was talking about in terms of looking at the eagle and the feathers. Look between the eagle's legs on this one. You can see the tail feather feathers. Look down the eagle's legs and you can see the feathers coming almost all the way down and these little tufts at the bottom. You can't really see that very well in this coin. You can kind of see the ones between the legs. You can't see the tufts at the bottom at all on this one. Just some little, looks like little scratches. And you can't see the feathers going down the legs. So just a huge difference between, oh, and look at the ribbon on there. Look at the feathers on the arrow, how defined those are in the arrow end. So when we look at these, uh, we can, we can obviously, we can really tell. Some of you are going, what is that background you're using there? Well, in all of the um, uncirculated coin sets, they have a specifications card. Sometimes it, it's actually part of the envelope but oftentimes it's an actual card. And you can see here, it says specifications, 1994 uncirculated set here. 
It says the obverse, the reverse. It says it for the cent, the nickel, the dime, the quarter, and the half. And that's what comes in an uncirculated set. So if we go over here to the quarter, we see that it says it's a Washington quarter. It's John Flanagan. It has an eagle on the back. John Flanagan designed a back too. Copper nickel clad. 8.33% uh, nickel. Everything else is copper. So what they do is... If, if they count a whole copper sandwich in there, it turns out only 8.33% of this whole coin is um, nickel and 91.666% is copper. Down here they'll have the weight, which is 5.67. If it's a silver coin, that'll be about 6.2. Here they have like the diameter in inches and millimeters, 24.26, and reeded. When they say reeded here, they're talking about this edge here, these, these rims that go around the outside. There's 119 of those on the quarters. Look at this one. They actually seem like they're at a little bit of an angle, but that's not going to change any valuation. And since we got this one and flipped it over, let's let's take a look at this one too. Uh, we see a little bit of a chip out down here, but that'll happen right at the mint. We also want to look at the, see how the feathers kind of come on the neck too? And there's this little tuft uh, that comes out the back of the eagle's head. And if you get a real good one like this, you can actually see a little bit of the eye way in there on the eagle's head and how that beak comes down. Just just a really nice coin. All right, so how much are they worth? These coins, if they didn't have the film on them, um, probably worth about eight bucks each. These coins from general circulation are worth about a quarter each. Go ahead out and spend them. There is, as I said, there's an S coin too, and that's a San Francisco Mint coin. And this, uh, at the uh, San Francisco Mint, they made um, a, obviously a much smaller number. They made 2.5 million of these, 2.48 million. Um, and they'll all have the S's on them. You see that they're um, polished with a different kind of polish here, uh, which, and you can actually see my pen in there. See it behind there? Um, same exact coin. It's going to be the, this, this coin. They weren't making the silver sets yet. So this coin is going to be the copper on the outside too. And then let's look at this one. And this is actually even better than the others. Just tremendous looking um, detail coming down off the head here. Uh, tremendous feathers on both legs. The arrow again, you can actually see a dot in the middle of that arrow head. That's pretty cool. Um, and then of course down here is the olive branches, the war eagle or the symbol of war or strength. The, uh, with the arrows, then the uh, olive branch with symbol of peace, and down at the bottom it says quarter dollar. All right, well, that's all we have today from DC Coin World. Now, what's this one worth, you're going to say? It's really not worth that much. In a proof 65, this is only worth three or four dollars. So if you get a regular uncirculated one, it'll be worth more if it's in good condition. This comes in a different, it's not called mint state. It's called proof or proof state. Um, and so in this one, you need to get 66 or higher to get up to what a mint state 65 would be in a, in a circulating coin uh, or an uncirculated coin from a set. All right. Well, that's all we have today from Big D Coins. We'd love to have you subscribe to the channel and leave any comments you might have in the comments section.